Hello and welcome to this segment of Sister to Sister here on Real Life. We are so happy to be with you because we answer the questions of the world really from a biblical perspective. We try to do that, bring our hearts to your home. And so this first question is good. You're gonna love it and it goes like this. Do you have a hard time feeling significant in God's eyes? Yeah, and I, I really, this question disturbed me a little bit because nothing is really about our significance to me. Oh, it's about right. his significance. So now good. we might look to others for approval. We might look to performance. I have that going on in my life. I don't feel comfortable with myself unless I'm doing something, working at something. But we don't look at how we think God thinks about us but we look at what his word states about what he thinks about us. Mm, and you know, God was the first tattoo artist, I say. He engraved, <laughs> he engraved beautiful, us beautiful. on his hand. Our tears are kept in his bottle. He's so compassionate good, so good. towards us. And in Revelation, he chose us for his bride. So if we concentrate on what God's word says, the scripture says God's word will never return void mm -hmm. and God's word will last forever. Heaven and earth will pass away. His word stands forever. So what his word says, he says, is not what our mind says we said. That's, that's mm -hmm. really deep because I was thinking of it just like this. Do you have a hard time feeling significant? And I say, no, because I think I'm God's favorite. But. <laughs> <laughs> Amy thinks she's, I know. I know. You're both wrong. Okay. I'm his favorite. I am the apple of his eye. So I think of it as different. What do you have for me? Uh, God, I, I'm, I'm thinking sorry. Thought, I, I, how important it is, though, mm -hmm. to, 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 to understand God's love for you yeah. is what will cure that. Because there are people that they don't feel value, they don't right. feel worth, and that's what the enemy is trying to do, is to steal your value, steal your worth. Mm, so but when that's you good. focus on how much he loves you rather than how much I love him by doing, doing, and am yes. I significant and am I worthy? Yes. If you'll focus on how much he loves you, that changes the perspective. Um, he laid down his life for me. He'd move heaven and earth to, to when it comes to healing, you better know how much God loves you. When That's it comes right. to provision, you better know how much God loves you. So you understanding mm -hmm. how God sees you is very significant as a daughter or a right. son. And if you want to be the favorite, you can. Yeah. Well, Go ahead. I, no, I am. It's okay it's, with it's, me. It's not an option. I am. Uh, the rest of you are deceived, but it's okay. Um, I, I have to honestly say when I think back over my life and think of my walk with the Lord, God is my witness. Amen. I don't think I have ever felt insignificant in God's eyes. Mm -hmm. I've just, I've never felt it. So I guess I really can't speak to and it. And that's why you're able, honestly, you're able to be the love of Christ because it's in there. Yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Corey, well, do you again, feel significant? We are sisters yeah. because yeah. I said the same thing when I read the question, mm -hmm. I just thought, you know, even as a young child, like I always knew God yeah, loved me yeah, yeah. and I always felt significant in God's eyes and, and self-esteem was never something that I struggled with and I know mm -hmm. many people do. Mm -hmm. So I thought about this question and the thing I think I struggle with is God's significance. Mm -hmm. I forget, okay. mm -hmm. I forget how powerful God is, mm -hmm. how amazing God is, how big God is. Mm -hmm. I forget that I have the God who created everything, the entire universe inside of me. I have the power of the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. inside of me. I forget that. Mm -hmm. I don't live my life like that every moment. Mm -hmm. I forget how significant God is and how much power that gives me through him. So I guess yeah, you think good. that you're the favorite then. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it, God. Don't get the revelation later. <laughs> I believe that you are God's favorite daughter. So when you join the sisters and you hear from our hearts, then you can understand where we are because it is only through the word of God. It is only through Flo knowing the word and Corey growing up with the word and Roxanne spilling the word out of her every yeah. being. Yeah. And Amy, as a pastor, we live this love of Christ for you too.